Today, we bring the entire team together to chase pheasants in western Minnesota. Will this be a dream hunt in the making? Brewster! Or just another bad dream? Calling the dream team? He's over there doing a selfie. The Flush, presented by Federal Ammunition. Nineteen years. Almost two decades. That's how long we have been producing a television show dedicated to upland hunting. <laughs> There's a funny coincidence about that number. Truthfully, I've never hunted with Ron, and I've never hunted with Bill. It is the first time that Ron, Bill, Travis, and I have all gone hunting together. We all work so hard in our little production company. Nobody is ever at home base at the same time. We're always going different directions, right? So to be able to get together as one crew. We've never done this. When I heard uh, the idea of the, of the Dream Team, um, I liked it because uh, we rarely get a chance to uh, share this kind of outdoor experience with each other. Hmm, Dream Team? We are the Dream Team, absolutely. Wait, I know you guys too well. I'm not sure if this is quote unquote a dream team hunt or my worst nightmare. It's somewhere in between. I can live with that. Let's get this hunt started. Time to split our little group in half and go with Team Pointer and Team Flusher. The wind's kind of south, you know, southwest. So we'll start going this way and then we'll turn so she at least has a crosswind. I'm gonna just be quiet and I'm gonna I'll, I'll uh, tell you when, you just watch her, she'll tell you when she's red hot. Okay, love it. I remember my first time too. I heard that. <laughs> but Scott shot him all I heard. <laughs> He's been out here hunting. Yeah. yeah. He, he told me yesterday, he says, well, I've been scouting a little bit. <laughs> I went on, I he shot this bird, I shot that bird. I said, well, it's nice of you to shoot the birds before we get out here. Wait a minute, is this a dream team or Team dissension. Ron, no matter what happens today, I still want to be friends. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll just take it nice and slow. Yeah. It's I'm... really dry. It is. Slow fits my speed. So two hens went that way and a rooster came over this way, but you might have still been walking up. I didn't shoot because it was heading your way and uh never saw him hey ron yo you know any spots <laughs> well scott hunted this and shot them all before we got here you know he said he went scouting yeah he went scouting he saw three birds and uh and you could have had one rooster already yeah why didn't you uh, you guys did i didn't, I didn't see anything He's just making that up. <laughs> That's our problem. Yeah. It went right over him. Yeah, Bill, we should find a place that hasn't been hunted. <laughs> huh? I'm going to go with team dissension. So, Ron, you see, you see the telephone pole right there in the tree to the left of it? Walk right towards that. And then, then Trav, you can walk. We'll just space out through this. No bird, no bird. Typical pheasant hunting. You go into it, you're jacked up. They can just seem like they're everywhere one minute. 
and you can do no wrong. And then all of a sudden, the next minute, they're nowhere to be found. It's hot outside, it's dry. The conditions right now are brutal, to be honest. <sighs> this is hell in here. Terrible. It's too dry. For pheasant hunting, these are very tough conditions. The birds are running. The dogs can't smell them very well because there's been no dew, no rain, no moisture, no water anywhere. And it just makes it that much more challenging. Challenge accepted by Team Flush. For now, it's time to lick our wounds and take in a little nourishment. Coming up, the Dream Team regroups. Come on here. We're gonna, we're gonna say a silent prayer. Will we break our shutout? Millie, here! Bruce, damn it, Millie! No! The Flush is brought to you by Federal Ammunition, Waltons, Rufflin Performance Kennels, Pheasants Forever, and by Benelli. This segment of The Flush is brought to you by North Dakota Tourism. Start planning at hellond.com. Our Western Minnesota Dream Team pheasant hunt has, well, how do you say this? It's too dry. Pheasants are running. Kind of sucks so far. Well, nothing's happened so far. <laughs> And the camera saw everything. So I think now it's kind of in the dog management type of thing. It's so hot. You get warm days like this, it'd be a real puzzle because the birds can go, they can be really scattered and they can be anywhere. That might be the understatement of the day, Ron. Undeterred, we head to our last spot of the day, brimming with confidence. And I would have probably you, Trav, take the far left so she can range out that way and see if she locks up on anything. And then Millie can work this right edge. Let's get in a little ways and, and don't ditch us this time. I'm just going where the birds are. I've got a cameraman. I'm trying to put a bird on your TV show for you. Travis might be nicknamed the Wanderer. Daisy will just slide off and say, oh, I think there might be something in this direction. And Travis just goes. Just Follow the directions and you'll be a-okay. Funny, a little adversity hits this group okay. and we crumble like a house of cards. Post there and then we can just get up into the field anywhere up in here and work towards it. Hen, hen! Our dogs and these hens tell us our luck might change. Eight birds went into that tree line and another six went into that side. What's yeah. past the trees? More Minnesota. Scott Franson motto, never miss a chance to be a smart ass if you can. But hold the phone a second. What's happening? Rooster! Rooster! Millie, here, come. Well, I just gotta say I fired my gun. She just picked something up here, Aaron. Daisy's hot over here too. She's right there. Yeah, Millie's right here, really hot. Ron's off to our right, Trav. Ah, sh Ron. That's right where I want him to be. Oh. Ron! Over here! Yeah. We gotta oh. move, guys. Damn it. Come here, Millie. Look at all of them on the hillside. Straight ahead, look at them on the hillside. Rooster! Rooster. How many got up on that hillside? 50, maybe more? That was beautiful. I think, Mr. Sherry, I said go down to the tree line, but I might have been. Well, Ron's thinking, you're gonna escape out of here, wanna go over there. And so I'm kind of thinking they're gonna angle this way. Dream team. Dream team. Yeah. Legends. You make your bet and take, your, take yep. your chances. Based on what I just saw, that hillside, well, it's calling our name. 
There goes a rooster, there goes bird, there go birds, there go birds, there go birds, there go birds. Look at the birds. Christ, guys, you were right there, shoot at them. Is that a rooster? Damn it. Hen, hen, no bird, no bird, Millie. Good girl. Oh, right here, Scott, right in front of us. Rooster! The rooster lived and the cameraman too. The sun keeps dropping on that western skyline and it appears that this dry, hot day is going to the birds. Hey, rooster! Nice! Golden hour. Doesn't disappoint, ever. We're on the board. Nice. That last hour of the day during the pheasant season, it truly is magical. The same thing can be said of a hunt with friends. Raise a glass. Say thanks for coming to the Legends Lodge. We got a, legends, a lot of legends around this table. And what I would say is one legend above others has earned the Big Cock Award. And Travis gets to support the Big Cock Award for getting the only bird of the day. We worked hard for that bird today. There's always an award when we're together. Whether we're hunting or fishing, at the end of the day, there's always an award. And I should have seen it coming, but I was kind of caught off guard. This would never have happened if Ron would have just listened to the directions and gone to the tree that he was supposed to post <laughs> yeah, at. Sure. He would have had so <laughs> For this flush host, one bird today was just fine because I got a limit worth of memories hunting with the Dream Team. The Flush is brought to you by Nutrisource, Aluma Trailers, Big Timber Fasteners, DeWalt, and by North Dakota Tourism. Pheasants Forever and Quail Forever are on a mission to help bird hunters like us find more wild birds on public land. Join Pheasants Forever or Quail Forever today and your $35 membership will help us to create more wildlife habitat, cleaner water, and abundant wildlife. Your investment will go right back into the ground making a difference today that will last forever. There's a funny thing that seems to happen in bird country. When the sun rises on a new day, frustrations from the day before. Oh, you didn't see the one that flew over? There wasn't one. Dang it. Ah, ah sh run. <laughs> That's right where I wanted them to be. Well, they're replaced by childlike optimism. Do, 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 do. Dude, dude, can't touch that. You gonna do your pre-hunt dance, Scott? Gotta get warmed up, Trap. Do your moves, bust them out. Do, 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 do. Can't touch that. Do, 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 Can't touch that, Ron. Do, 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 do. The world's not ready for that. <laughs> With thoughts of redemption, Team Flush prepares to start the day on a prime piece of public land. You know, we'll spend maybe an hour in here. We're just gonna go, we're gonna do quick hits. Quick hits, quick hits, quick hits, and keep moving. Huh? Just play the hits today, Scott. Play the hits. Today, our optimism quickly pays off. Good shot, Scott. Fetch it, Millie, fetch it, Millie. Come here, dead bird. Hop, hop, hop. Good girl, get her, get her, no. Ten minutes, we did oh. Good girl, Mills. That a girl. Millie is my one and a half year old black lab. This is her second season of chasing upland birds. And by all accounts, she is really figuring this game out. It's fun to watch her because one, she's finding the birds, but then, you know, the bird goes up. If it goes down, when it goes down, she's on it instantly and I see the bird hit the ground. Well, I know it went down there, and in two and a half seconds, she's coming back with a bird, and you're like, that's incredible. And that's the power of a good dog, and Millie is an excellent dog. Oh, 
Oh, there goes a rooster right there. Yep, rooster. He's coming your way. Rooster! Rooster! Hen! Hen! Good girl. Good girl, Mills. There it goes. Holy cow. That bird just ran all the way down there, almost to the end. Got up 100 yards in front of us. Daisy pointed it like three times, and Millie got on it. They do not want to sit in this wind, for sure. Oh, Millie's hot here. Whoa! Rooster! Rooster! Fetch it up, Daisy! This doesn't work. Look at where we are right now. There's pheasants running around out here. We're poking fun at each other. These are, these are good days out here. This is a lot of fun, and these are good people. Yesterday, well, it kind of felt like work to me. Today, well, today feels different in a great way. Rooster! Nice! There's a bird. Two, three, four, five. Coming up, a true flush legend puts the finishing touches on our hunt. Oh, here you are, bud. Yeah. One yeah. shot, one bird. Yeah. You are, huh? You are a legend. You still got it. You huh? still got it. <laughs> <laughs> the flush is brought to you by Chief Upland, Southwire Tools and Equipment, Wells Lamont Gloves. DeWalt Utility and Sump Pumps, and by Negrini Cases. If you love bird hunting, dog training, and hearing amazing stories from the field, then we invite you to join us each week for brand new episodes of the Flush Podcast. Find us wherever you get your podcasts. There is one constant that is a staple of every flush team hunt. Everyone in this group is a lot of fun to hunt with, and that's what makes these kind of hunts so memorable. I think that's what everybody wants. We give a lot of crap. Well, first off, y'all talk a lot. And by a lot, I mean a lot. I happen to be the kid wedged in the middle of the dogs. Of course, the bird's on here. Here, I just lock this. What do you want me, Scott? In between us. I don't control that, but the amount of crap I took. Can you follow those directions, Bill? Say it again. You stay in the middle of Travis and me. Travis is gonna be on the right, and I'm gonna be on the left. Travis never stays where he's gonna go, so <laughs> where are you gonna be, Scott? Are you gonna go right here? Go on the left, All right. then it's gonna go Scott, Bill, Travis. Sibiti. 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 You're the glue that keeps us together, Bill. Well, the meat, you guys are all bonded. And Bill, since we're in the mood of following instructions, we'll tell you when to shoot. <laughs> sure you will. No. There's another one. Wham, wham, wham. Now, Bill. <laughs> see what we can find. Yeah, let's see what we can find. Come on, Bill. Come on. It doesn't take long for the jaw jacking to stop when the birds start to pop. She just turned on something hard. And, and. Rooster! Ooh. Fetch it up, Daisy. Daisy is Travis's first hunting dog. And it's not hard to see that Travis has become a proud bird dog papa. And rightfully so. So Daisy is a two-year-old English setter mixed with a German short hair pointer. She has uh, a motor like I just can't even explain. But she's really starting to put it together. It went from a frustration to just a lot of fun watching that dog work. As Daisy and Millie do their thing, we work our way to our lone blocker. Rooster! Fetch it up, Daisy. We hear a single shot in front of us. Find it. Yeah, thank you. Oh, here you are, bud. Yeah. Yeah. One shot, one bird. Yeah. You are. 
Huh? You are a legend. You still got it. You huh? still got it. <laughs> <laughs> the moment he pulled the trigger on that bird, and he goes, my bird's right over there. All of a sudden, he's 25 years old again, the way he's coming over there. We were working these birds down right to him, and it was just like we drew it up. And Ron pulled the trigger, and the bird goes down, and the crowd goes wild. Magical. He's been shooting pheasants a lot longer than any of us has, right? For Ron to be able to go into a field and still do what he loves, uh, that's a big deal for him and for us. I think most people were surprised I was going to get one. <laughs> I, uh, I was surprised that it failed. You know, everything happens fast. The crossing shot him, boom, and he folded. And I knew he looked, he was dead. That felt really good. For me, that's going to be a highlight moment from this trip. Why it took so long for the four of us to hunt together, I will never know. Well done. By the end of the day, there's just a couple of things left to do to complete our flush dream team hunt. We're gonna heat this up, we're gonna have some appetizers, and then a surprise. Time to grill. Oh. Prosciutto bacon. It smells so good. That's me. I have oh, an award right. to pass here. The Big Cock Award that I so amazingly won yesterday because Ron didn't go to his post. Today, I want to give it to Mr. Franz. Oh! I really think it should go to Mr. Sheriff. Yeah. He Mr. got it Mr. right Sheriff today. shot his first Minnesota pheasant this year. Yes, that's true. The camera wasn't there, so we're not sure if it didn't die of a heart attack. You know, all the Dream Team and Legend stuff is all tongue in cheek, right? Well, plus it fits me. <laughs> <laughs> But for me, cheers. cheers to Ron and Team Flush. This hunt was a dream come true.